the nice clothes? Gary Dan. Gary Dan. Gary Dan? Yeah, the American girl. I got a money. I'm a magician. Come on. You get a cheer at Gary Daniel. What I have here is some envelopes. If you have something in your pocket, and don't take it out now, something small in your pocket that could fit in one of these envelopes, just raise your hand. Don't take it out now, just raise your hand. High in the air. Just raise your hand, don't take it out, don't take it out. Hi, we got three, I need five people. Five people, anyone back there, something in your pocket or purse? Okay, something in, don't All right, don't take it out yet, I don't wanna see it, I don't wanna see it. I got, I need five people, I got one, two, three. I don't wanna see it, I don't wanna see it. Okay, don't take it out, give one to you, sir. Oh, actually, why should I give you an envelope? You know what, who's your favorite band? That's okay. You're a rogue, rogue cowboy. Give me one. Uh, and you, you have something in your pocket? I do. Of course you do. I'm magic. Okay. And uh, anyone else, something in your pocket? Give me an envelope there, sir. Anyone else, something in your pocket? Something in your pocket? Uh, why should I give you an envelope, sir? Let me ask you this. You enjoying the show tonight? Okay, that's definitely worth an envelope. You want back here? You want back here? You have something? All right. Don't show me. All right, anything I want to do? I'm not gonna look at anything. Put your objects in your envelope. I don't wanna see it. All right? When all the objects are in the envelope, raise your hand. When all five hands are in the air, that means everything is sealed up. And I will have my lovely assistant, Amanda, come and grab your envelopes. <laughs> so Amanda, look around. Tell me when everyone's hand is in the air. Guys, grab the envelopes for you. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're good. Yep. All right, Amanda, my lovely assistant. By the way, I need an assistant. So, you know, I have some gigs coming up in January. I'm looking for an assistant. This is a very shiny package. Do you know why I picked this out for Amanda? Because women are attracted to shiny things. Um, put that in there, Amanda, and mix those up. Give them a mix up. I don't want to touch it, feel like I'm doing anything over there. Make this as fair as can be. Because after all, magicians are fair people, right? All right, that's fair. Great. Give Amanda a round of applause. <laughs> If you ever do choose to be my assistant, I do pay $29.99 for a two-hour show. <laughs> and a free meal. So here's what we got here. Interesting. Chopstick. Definitely smells like a woman's. This person is a very prepared person. Very serious about their future. Very serious. God, I'm getting a tough read on this one. She's a very happy-go-lucky person. I know it's a she, and I believe she just helped me pass out the envelopes. Is this yours? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do we got here? Half drop. This person maybe had a few health problems recently because they're using cough drops, but also a very prepared person. Uh, but, but you can tell by the packaging they really don't care for it too much, so you can say it's definitely a man's. For sure it's a man's. Uh, hmm, uses house, the cheap kind. <laughs> You're probably a pretty good person at saving his money. Uh, I believe this is yours, sir? That's right. <laughs> Go here. You want to go? Hmm. Interesting. Well, you know, <laughs> you don't have to be a mentalist or a magician to know that Carrie McDermott's card belongs to <laughs> Carrie McDermott. <laughs> I fooled you. I fooled you. Thank God his twin doesn't think like that. We got two more here. I don't want to just give this out to any random person because if I do, 
We'll say we know whose is what. Some money here. And, hmm. What the? Is this a bullet? I don't know who the other this is, but this guy would take a bullet for it. Uh, give you a pen. Is it okay if I open this up? I think uh, I'm just curious. Tell me a little bit more about the person. Ooh, a pen that looks like a gun. James Bond stuff. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Uh, you know what? I'm going to fill here. The last two people. Could you guys stand up? You last two guys stand up for me? You know, I'll tell you what. When I look at this, this is a really deceptive person because initially I thought it was a gun or something. But it's a pen. And uh, this person's got a little bit more money than this person. So my deduction of reason is this guy belongs to this. 